13 Types of Sex You Should Totally Try At Some Point Imagine if you spent your entire sex life only in the missionary position, it would get pretty monotonous, right? While we have no objections to missionary, especially with these sexy variations, your love life will be much more exciting if you regularly mix things up. This isn't just about changing positions, though that's a great way to keep things interesting. There are numerous types of sex to explore both in and out of the bedroom, such as incorporating toys, delving into kinks, inviting multiple partners, indulging in voyeurism, and much more. We've compiled a list of 13 types of sex you should definitely try at least once in your life. 1. Rooftop Sex It's thrilling and unforgettable, especially at sunset, says Play. You get to experience both outdoor sex and a bit of exhibitionism. Pro tip, bring several towels to avoid ending up sticky and covered in soot. 2. Bathroom sex at fancy restaurant. Bathroom sex at an upscale restaurant blends sophistication with naughtiness. It's incredibly thrilling to indulge in something risque when you're expected to be on your best behavior, says Play. Additionally, the risk of getting caught adds an extra layer of excitement to the experience. 3. Dealing with morning wood sex. Sometimes you wake up aroused and crave immediate release, and if you're lucky, your partner notices and gets turned on as well. Despite the morning breath and less than perfect appearance, you can't resist each other. The sex is amazing, and it comes with health benefits, too. Even if it makes you late for work, it's totally worth it. 4. Sex in your childhood bedroom. Going home for the holidays? Well, you have a golden opportunity to do it in your childhood bed. Remember all the times you were a frustrated horny teenager? Play asks. Embrace good sex now that you're older and hopefully wiser while getting nostalgic about how far you've come. There's also the comfort of the familiar mixed with a little taboo. Kinky, no. 5. Sex at the office holiday party. Getting involved with your boss or an employee is a definite no due to the power dynamics at play. But sneaking off with your date to that rarely used supply closet? That's hot. Bring someone who doesn't work at your company, play advises. If you get caught, you'll create a seasonal story that will become a new tradition, brought up every year. 6. Make up sex. The first time you have sex after a fight, break, or disagreement always feels different. Even in purely physical relationships, conflicts can hurt feelings. Once you've resolved the issue and moved forward, you often feel more intimacy, says Sparks. Disagreements can be raw, making us feel extra exposed, she explains. Making up can leave us feeling cared for and supported, and those emotions carry over into the makeup sex. 7. Roommate Threesome To make this work, you need a sex-positive roommate who won't feel awkward running into you in the kitchen the next day. If your partner has a group fantasy, let her know your roommate is always up for it, Play suggests. It's someone both unknown and familiar, making group play easy to arrange. 8. Sex with the person you lost your virginity to. Let's be honest. The first time you had sex probably wasn't amazing from a skills perspective. Sure, it might have been thrilling because it was your first time and you were in love, but you likely didn't know many positions or techniques. Years later, when you have sex again with the same person you lost your virginity to, it's like stepping into a sexy hot tub time machine where you can apply all your newfound sex skills to an old flame, says Play. You get to revisit that first night with a newfound knowledge and awareness that you didn't have before. In other words, it's a chance to show off how much you've improved, baby. 9. Layover Lay This is the ultimate opportunity for a spontaneous encounter, Play suggests. Imagine finding someone attractive during a three-hour layover at the airport. 
Seize the moment and reserve a room at an airport hotel for a thrilling rendezvous, he suggests. Certainly more exciting than sipping drinks alone at the bar. 10. Don't make a sound sex. Some individuals naturally prefer quiet intimacy, but many of us find ourselves unable to resist expressing pleasure with moans, groans, or even verbal exchanges during lovemaking, Sparks explains. That's why the idea of engaging in silent intimacy can be enticing, especially in scenarios like being at your in-law's house with your brother-in-law in the adjacent room. The thrill of the possibility of being discovered can also add an intense level of arousal, Sparks adds. 11. Hotel Sex Sex in a hotel has its unique appeal. There's a certain allure to indulging on those soft, pristine white linens, with the freedom to be as uninhibited as you desire, knowing that someone else will handle the cleanup. Afterwards, you can leisurely stroll around the room in the nude, enjoying the privacy and intimacy shared only between you and your partners. 12. Sex Club Sex If hotel encounters excite you, you might want to explore the possibility of engaging in sexual activities at a swingers club or a sex resort. These venues offer more than just encounters with other individuals. You and your partner can elevate your experience by engaging in intimate acts together in the open playroom area, where others can observe, suggests Sparks. It's an opportunity to embrace your inner exhibitionist. It's a liberating experience, surpassing even the thrill of skinny dipping, she adds. There's an exhilaration in catching sight of someone else thoroughly enjoying the same pleasures you are, even from a distance. 13. Realizing you're in love sex. Imagine this scenario, you've been in a relationship with someone for some time, yet you haven't yet uttered those three significant words. Then, during a moment of intimacy, almost unexpectedly, you feel the urge to declare, I love you. Hopefully, you resist the impulse because, as it turns out, it might not be the most opportune moment for such a declaration. However, once the moment passes, you find yourself reflecting, wow. I genuinely do love this person. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.